Hey, good morning from Smokehouse Bayou International Headquarters. Hey, look, as you can see, we got a lot of chicken on hand, and we got some already in the smoker. We're feeding, I think, about 120 troops today out of Poplarville National Guard guys. So we've got to get this stuff on early. We're going to show you how we season it. Everything's real simple when it comes to half chickens and how to smoke them. But I'm going to go over that with you today. So stay tuned. Smokehouse by you. Smokehouse by you. You ain't never had it so good. Smokehouse by you. We've got everything we need for a successful smoke. We've got 120 half chickens, some bayou dust, and a southern pride smoker. Let's Look, get when you get a half chicken, or a chicken you cut that sucker in half like we did, we've shown you this before on a video, but there is a joint that's about right where my thumb is, if you can see that. And you're gonna take and push that joint through, okay, and it's just gonna pop that thing right there, and that's gonna help, um, cook this thing as thoroughly as possible and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the skin back and what we've got here is our bayou dust we like to coat that breast all right pull that skin back over there lift that little armpit up and just coat him good on both sides and that is it look we don't typically season the chicken until right before we're gonna put it on the pit because we don't want it to um, sweat out and then start running off. So anyway, that's what we gotta do. We gotta simply do this about 120 times. So we're gonna get busy on this, then we'll come back when we're loading the pit. We've got 10 of the 15 racks in the Southern Pride going right now. You could easily put, uh, well, I say easily, you could you could put 16 half chickens per rack. So whatever 16 times 15 would be your, we, uh, what was that, about 240, I believe, something like that would be a guess, but uh, you can get a lot of chicken on the thing. There's no doubt about that. Especially if Miss Shayla, she likes to, she gets them in there just right. <laughs> We are smoking with a mixture of hickory and cherry wood today. Hey, we got the Southern Pride loaded. We're setting it at 235. That's one thing that's awesome about the Southern Pride, man. You can set it on there. It's going to stay within five or so degrees of your set temperature, which is fantastic. Uh, it takes the guesswork out of a lot of things. I was gonna tell you on the prep, it probably took us a good 30 minutes to 40 minutes yesterday to cut these chickens with a bandsaw, with the meat saw that Julian has here. And then this morning, I think we probably got a good start about 10 minutes after five, and it's about 10, it's about 20 minutes after six. So if, uh, you know, talking about 120 chicken halves, so that's a two man job for at least an hour, hour and 10 minutes, something like that to get them all seasoned and get them on the smoker. Now we're gonna let them smoke for at least two hours. I don't intend on opening that pit more than maybe once or twice just to check on them. But I'm thinking we'll get the temp probably about 640. So about 840 to nine o'clock, these babies will be ready. Hey guys, before we put the chicken on, we took these four brisket off. They smoked all night at about 2.30, and you can see, if Miss Shayla will come a little closer, you can see how awesome the bark is on these. Um, anyway, they smoke for about 10 hours, I think nine or 10 hours, but look, I, I've got a video out uh, on our page, if you're new to our page, that teaches you how to smoke brisket with this pan method. I'm gonna put a card right up here. Y'all check that video out when you get a chance. It's a great method, and you can certainly use it at home. Come look at this. Look at that right there. Mm-hmm. 
Look at the juice on the floor. No, I'm not. Still in, the, right still in the smoker, but there is a lot of juice to that right there. It's going to be a nice, juicy lunch for them. For sure. That's pretty color. That's a lot of chickens. All right, what we've got to do is we've got to get these chickens off, get them up to the ladies there that work here at Fayards, and then they're going to put them at the sides, plate them up, and. Uh, and I think John's going to deliver them for him. So anyway, we got to unload these chickens here. Don't just in here and watch you do that. Okay. We're not going to do a taste test on it. You know, we have 120. That's how many has got to go to them. But, man, you can see how juicy that is. I guarantee you it's delicious. There's no doubt about that. It is delicious. <laughs> Man, one thing that you've got with the Southern Pride, I mean, you look look at these, they, they just, it puts out a consistent product all the time. Of course, that's what you're expecting. We've done the Southern Pride versus pit barrel cooker, you know, with the ribs. And obviously the pit barrel cooker is not going to keep up with the Southern Pride. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make as good a flavor ribs as that, but the Southern Pride, has the consistency and just the capacity. That's the thing about it is, what you're buying with it is just the consistency and the capacity because obviously you're not feeding uh, 160 or 120, 160 troops off a of pit barrel cooker. It's not realistic, it's not gonna happen. So it's not, whoop, almost dropped out. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanna show how consistent beautiful these chickens are. I'm really excited about providing these uh, to these guys. They're going to really enjoy. Oh, they are juicy. Uh, assembly line. This is the quietest I've ever heard these ladies. <laughs> Keep talking, we won't be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the ladies here at Fayards are in the process of finishing up, getting all those plates uh, put together, and they're gonna send it out the door to the troops. But look, I just wanna go over the basics again. This was a half chicken. All right, we smoked it roughly right at about two hours, okay? at about 240 and then that last maybe 15 minutes I bumped it to 260. We smoked it with cherry and hickory wood, whole logs, all right, and we just uh, seasoned it with, uh, with the bayou dust. Real simple smoke. I mean, there's nothing to it. You can do that at home. It, it doesn't matter if you're doing uh, one chicken or like us, 120 chicken halves. Uh, you can do it on a Southern Pride. You can do it on a pit barrel. You can do it on whatever. But um, it's always going to come out roughly the same if you hit those numbers. 235 on the smoke, bump it up to 260, ever how you like seasoning it. And uh, be sure and mix your woods up, man. Find your own distinct flavor. Cherry and hickory wood go well together with chicken. So that's how we do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video and God bless you. We appreciate our customers. Check us out at smokehousebyyou.com.